Hello, this is Relly Mabubat and you're watching Drum Basics. Our topic for today is about care and maintenance for your drums. Hi, let's begin this episode by talking about a few experiences that I have growing up as a drummer and trying to do everything, every means to take care of your, your gear um, and try to extend its life. So uh, just to begin with that, um, here in the Philippines, buying drum gears are very expensive especially when you're a kid growing up in the 90s where not a lot of uh, families are capable of buying really good stuff really good uh, drum gears and um, I was one of those kids growing up um, trying to cope up with uh, the changes of the drum gears but at the same time, I am trying to take care of my, um, you know, the one that I have existing because I don't have enough funds to uh, finance my, you know, buying new gears uh, for myself. So I developed and discovered a few things that um, help me maintain, take care of my, my gear, my drum set. Um, for this first um, uh, segment, this is actually one of two uh, episodes, but uh, we're talking about the drums per se. We 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 uh, we'll, we'll just talk about the cymbals and how to take care of it on a different episode. But uh, for now, let's uh, talk about how we can maintain the the drums. All right, so um, I'm here. Um, sitting down uh, with my comfortable couch here and what you can see here at the back is uh, my snare drum it's a 14 uh, by 5.5 .5, uh, snare and uh, what I did is I took out the the rims and uh, removed them so that I can start cleaning and maintaining them so I'll just show you a few things. This is the uh, the batter and the uh, resonating heads. Uh, both are ambassadors, the Remo um, that I use. Um, uh, this is a, a typical snare wire by Gretsch. Um, again, this is my snare with uh, my trusty throw off. This is one of my favorite throw-offs and one of the reasons why I'm keeping this snare is because of this throw-off. And then my, here is my die cast uh, rim, okay? So I use die cast rims for steel rims, uh, otherwise I use the wood maple. Alright, um, also the two kinds of washers that I am using um, but I prefer the rubber or uh, the hard plastic ones it's like a semi rubber plastic um, washer for the for the um, lugs or sometimes if you really want a tighter uh, fit it's the steel washer Okay, so it, it really depends on uh, what's your taste. So, for my case, I like the hard plastic more. Okay, so we'll be using this. All right, and yep. So you can see, there's the drum lugs. Okay. All right, let's begin maintaining our drum set. Um, the, dr the, the, the care and maintenance applies to all types of drums, bass drum, all sizes, toms, bass drums, small auxiliary snares, and, and other types of drums, okay? 
Uh, but uh, for now, let's talk about the snare drum. Let's uh, maintain, try to clean my snare drum. All right? Okay, um, here are the materials that we are going to use. And uh, these are basic um, things that you can actually see in your house or you can easily buy in the hardware. So what we have here are, we need two um, rugs. Uh, these are used rugs already, but uh, I cleaned them, I washed them. It's just uh, stains. But um, you can use, you know, regular rugs that you can, you can uh, find at home. Of course, we need your, your drum key there. Uh, we need a, a screwdriver. Uh, we need an all-purpose lubricant um, this one um, I uh, prefer uh, just a regular one you can buy the cheaper the better and um, um, I, I use a, um, a cleaner here a dust remover it's a, a regular uh, dust remover that you use for your furnitures at home so these are the only things that you need to do to uh, to have. Very basic. You can buy it anywhere, any uh, hardware or supermarket. They're uh, they're all available, and they're cheap. So you don't have to buy, um, you know, expensive branded um, cleaning materials for your drums. Okay. So let's start uh, cleaning the snare drum. So just put one of the blankets and put all your lugs here. You can actually clean them at the same time. There. Clean it. And all you have to do using this spray on it. Right, you, you can see I'm not really spraying everything. Um, I'm just, um, you know, spreading the, the spray. And then I do this. <laughs> so it really depends. In this one, it doesn't have any rust at all. So I'm just uh, actually just cleaning and taking off the, 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 the dust and the dirt. Okay. If you're very thorough with this, uh, well, you could do, okay, I'm going to put this out. You can spray them one by one, like this, until you, you achieve perfectness when you're cleaning. So, you could do that, and then just clean it one by one, like this. Okay. All right. The next one is uh, the snare drum itself. So you need to remove all of the lugs here using a screwdriver. Remove everything, and again with the with the contact cleaner, you can clean it one by one. Spray on them. So let me just uh, remove one of this. Okay. So just using your screwdriver, just remove it. That's it. You also need to remove your throw off and uh, the other half of the throw off, which is, I'm just going to show you. Okay. Then I'll show you what um, the before and after. So this is the one. Uh, there's a rubber um, separator from the wood and the metal so you have to remove it and like what we did earlier you can just this is the look at this it's so dirty see there are dust and fingerprints okay so using this 
Just clean it with a rug, okay? Voila! Dust all gone, it's all shiny. You can see the difference right away. Okay? So apply this to all of the lugs. And when everything is cleaned, we'll put them back together again. Okay? There you go. So one lug on. Okay? And just an example, this is the one I'm talking about. Also need to remove that. So I'll be removing it for you. So you can see using a screwdriver. Okay. Let's remove it. It's something that I you know uh, discovered when I was growing up. And up until this this very moment I do this I don't clean my drums that often but um, I, I try my best to do it once a year at least so at least uh, every year my drums are clean and there you go so I'll clean it later okay so I'll show it uh, I'll show uh, what the drum would look like after we remove, we remove all the the lugs, okay. So right here, right now, here's the snare drum with, the, with all the lugs gone. I remove everything, and you, you can see there are thumb marks, there are dust, okay, on the snare drum. This is just the wood part of the snare drum now, okay. No metals, okay. What? We open this. This is new. You can see here. It's wax. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, the other rug uh, to get portion of this okay, here. And then just apply it to the to the drum here. See? Squeaky clean. No more dust. You can see. It's restoring itself. You see the dust here? Look. Gone. See? So do that inside and out. Right? Until you get that shine that you need. Right? And this is what I do with the drums. Okay? So let me let me just try and clean it for you. Then I'll show you very nice and easy the results of what we did. Okay. I get more. This is just, you know, you don't really need much. I'm just getting this few here. That few. And then I'll just close this. So there. And then the insides. You can actually smell it's cleaned already. Nice smell. You can smell the wood. It's very clean, okay? Let me just po po polish it a bit and I can show you. The good thing about this uh, cleaning material is um, it dries up easily. So it's not really like other household cleaning, uh, wood cleaning material or wood cleaning uh what they called it spray or things that you you clean for the wood um, it, it, it feels sticky after you apply it but for this one I think this is wax or it was made probably made from wax 
um, it dries up itself. Look. See? Nice. Very clean. It took me just a few seconds to a minute or two to clean everything up. Okay? Let's go on and proceed with other things that we need to clean up. Alright, next one is the die cast rims. We use the contact cleaner again. So, um, this is the other rug that I'm using. So, technically, I'm using two rugs. One is for the wood and one is for the metal. So, I'm going to use this again. Spray it. Inside and out. So, let's do the outside first. Look, it's already clean. Just by that one spray, all of the dust are gone. And you can see, it's sparkling clean already. See? That easy. And I didn't really spray that much. It's just one spray. You can hear that. Okay. This is the bottom snare rim. It's clean already. See? Right? So, just to be thorough, you're cleaning. Let's clean the inside. One spray, then just spread it all throughout, like that. This is to clean the inside of the snare rim, okay? Right there. Nice and clean. There. See? Too easy. So, we do that on the other rim. This one. And uh, we'll put back the snare together. Okay? We'll talk about some tips on how to maintain your drum heads. Uh, but that's for later. Okay? So, the last thing that we are going to clean is the snare wires okay so remove the grip here with this is how I actually do it so I'll just put the rug here open it up like so and put the snare wires there okay you cannot clean it as uh, what you did with the other metal parts of the snare so, all you have to do is just spray it, and then the other side, and damp it like this, to dry it. That's it. You cannot clean it as thorough, but at least, you would see here, there's no rust. It's still the same snares, uh, snare wires that I have when I first bought it. I never changed it. It's a genuine uh, a genuine um, snare wire from Gretsch. This is from the factory. I never changed it. Okay? So that's clean. Alright, lastly with with the uh, drum heads i don't really clean them so most especially the resonating head um it, it would actually you know it would change its color in time um and uh these are uh very durable drum heads however since we're always hitting them uh they're made to you know to break and, um, well, technically, if you uh, clean this, there a lot of uh, uh, drummers would, would want this um, stick markings cleaned. So, uh, there was this um, uh, friend of mine who, who doesn't know how, or who really do, was a beginner in maintaining, you know, his drums. He actually cleaned it with soap. 
And what happened was, uh, since this is a co coated ambassador, the coat just went off after cleaning it. the the stick marks The stick marks were gone. However, there's no more coat. So for snare drums, for me, um, I I I I really need the coat of the the batter uh, side of the snare. Um, it's useful for brushes. The brush, the brush sound would would be um, you know would be heard more if it's uh, coated. And at the same time, I think the the coating helps me. Technically, helps me make it sound better. Or I, I don't know if it's just a psychological thing, but when I feel the roughness of the of the head. And when I play my stick against it, it feels like I'm doing the right thing all the time. It feels like the stick just just sticking on the head, right? So, well, technically that's how it um, affects me. So I really want my um, my heads to be as much as possible as natural as it, it is, natural as it is, uh, until it you know it gets ripped off or it fades or it gets dirty and besides you know you you can see how much you use the, the snare drum if you see those stick marks on it okay so but um for those who really wants to uh, to clean it just uh, use a clean um rug and just you know clean it that's about it so the only purpose of doing the, uh, what we're doing right now is just removing the dust. That's it. Technically, that's how we just clean the, the drum head. This applies for the resonating head. And that's it. You don't apply anything on it. Okay. Alright. Now, um, uh, before... Uh, we're almost done with our maintenance. We'll just have to uh, to put back the the snare drum back together. Put back them. Put put everything back together. Um, we'll show you all of the parts that we've uh, cleaned so far before we put them back together. Okay. Okay. So right now we finished cleaning everything. Okay. So let me show you. This is the the batter and the resonating head. Those are both ambassadors from Remo. This is the um, die cast um, rims. That's um, uh, the snare side and the batter side. These are the lugs. If you can see them, uh, that's the other side of the throw off. And uh, this one here, this two here, these uh, are the separators. So those are like uh, rubber plastics that separates the steel from the wood. That's for the lugs, near the lugs here. Uh, this one, yes, I forgot to explain this. This is the swivel. The swivel is actually uh, the one that holds the the nuts here and they are located here now let me just uh, get one lug here so they are placed here and they hold the nut here okay this one okay so they're all cleaned here these are the swivel locks okay you would see this when you open your snare drum. Those are very, uh, you, you cannot miss them. So the, the nuts that are there. The rubber, um, this is the rubber um, washers, steel washers inside. Um, that's for the inside of the, the lugs. Those are the, um, the bolts for those and of course my trusty throw off clean lastly the snare itself okay well th let's just put them back together as uh, what we actually 
Now how we um, we remove them, we just put them back, okay? And tune our drums. And that's about it, okay? Show you the finished product um, in a few minutes. So you can see how it would look like after the cleaning and maintenance. This is the snare drum that we just cleaned, if you would notice. There, I'm just going to move around. There. No rust. Looks like brand new. Okay. That's inside and out. It's pretty clean. And it took me just about 30 minutes to finish everything. Look. All clean. Squeaky clean. All around. Okay. This is how you maintain the drums. And uh, you can apply this to all of your drums. Uh, just do the step-by-step -step, um, um, things that we did earlier. Uh, use the same, actually you can use any um, cleaning material that you could uh, get at home. Uh, what's uh, available. You don't have to buy the expensive ones. Right? Bottom line is, uh, for you to have a long-lasting instrument, you have to know how to take care of it, maintain it. And if, you, um, if you're able to do so, you'd be inspired to play it more. And, uh, well, you know, keeping it with, uh, with and, you know, um, uh, building memories of those um, instruments that you are using for gigs. Um, is something that um, you know that you would be able to cherish. So for, for this particular drums, I've been using this for almost 20 years already, and uh, people would say that it's always new. That I'm actually using a new snare drum. And technically, I'm just cleaning and cleaning them. All right. So that's about it. Thank you for watching the drum basics and uh, for I hope the the topic would be uh, useful to you guys. So the care and maintenance for the drum set, you know, particularly for your drums, um, would not require you to to spend a lot of money or having someone or hiring someone to. Uh, technically clean it for you or should I say a lot of um, uh, uh, drummers hire people to restore their drums but now with this uh, episode you'll be able to do it yourself with minimal expense um, household cleaning um, materials that you could use and uh, which uh, is actually useful and not harmful to your drums. Um, th this snare drum that we just actually cleaned uh, was uh, purchased back in early 2000. So it has been um, almost 19 years today, or well, technically for this year, going on its 20th year. And if you would notice, uh, the, the snare drum still doesn't have any rusts and it looks um, pretty much new well the reason being is because the care and maintenance that I'm teaching you right now is um, I'm actually doing it every year so it doesn't just clean your drums but it um, uh, replenishes it and it allows it to you know uh, it protects it from dust allows it to endure the years of use and technically since it's clean it's it looks like new you enjoy playing it again over and over again so uh, i love this uh, drums uh, this particular snare drum that has um, uh, a die cast rim something that i use for my gigs um, back in 
uh, the years and up until now I'm actually using it uh, not just for this uh, kit but for my big kit as well for my gigs uh, I hope um, it's something that would open your eyes as well okay again um, before we uh, end uh, we're here at the um, Bat Cave Studios in Antipolo in the Philippines in Manila and here um, is the house of the uh, Drum Ninja Drum School Progressive Drum School uh, we're in uh, we teach uh, tailor fit uh, method of uh, basic drums and how to play the drums and the instrument to our students if interested just log on to our uh, website that's uh, www.thedrumninja.com uh, the, the drum ninja dot weebly dot com okay and uh, you can check my Facebook you can also check the Facebook of the drum ninja for more details information and uh, for for you guys to contact me if you're interested in enrolling and for now there's the snare drum I hope you enjoyed uh, the show thank you for watching this is Relly Mangubat again for Drum Basics. See you soon.